the Galactic Free Press Update. We will have more historic events this year. Bringing Humanity Home, Energy and Event Update. Greetings, love beans. It just keeps getting more exciting and more exciting for those awake and aware. We have much more to arrive to us in the coming days, weeks, and months as love energy sweeps across the planet with the energetic assistance of our historic mass global meditation from February 14th of 2013, in which the prayers of humanity for peace, true equality, and true joy was heard, and true real love began rising on this planet. Also, on this date, all of creation assisted humanity in the energetic movement of the light. From this moment forward, we will have more historic events occur in the continued victory of the light on planet Earth Equal Heart. The light is definitely on the move on planet Earth and is unstoppable and contagious. With these incoming energies coupled with an upcoming full moon in Virgo, which is Earth, we will be grounding significant amounts of light into the planet. As the love energy continues building, this increasingly puts pressure on the denser energies. This is the energy where all egos exist, no matter what they are dressed up like. A deep cleansing continues for those still in the ego unconsciousness. This entire planet is shifting. Resistance is futile. The activation for a full light on on planet Earth equal heart is underway. Quoted from Christine Mellorisi. Another week has arrived and we are probably at the most powerful surge of energies that are coming into the planet since 122112. There has been, in, been some talk from the Masters through our weekly calls that February would represent a pivotal point of understanding within each of us as we are being asked to go into the deeper levels of our core existence. I know that many people just want it all to happen now, and get it over with. But in actuality, we are not prepared for the event to occur on a massive scale just yet. We don't really understand on a humanly level exactly what is happening within Gaia, except that the changes are massive and creating either higher levels of bliss within individuals or massive thoughts of destructive energies. This is the separation. Many of us thought it would represent it going to another planetary existence and allowing the ones that still needed to understand their role in society to deal with it all. Well, this is not true. We are here on this planet within the concept of oneness to be created. This week we are being hit with the great central suns from the solar through the cosmic activating energies within the auric level of Gaia, and we are going to be deeply affected. Per our call on Monday, Monday evening of the Clarion Temple of Oneness, they stated that all of the great central suns were gathering their essences to infuse upon the planet to create an upsurge of frequencies to allow each living particle upon the earth to move into a deeper essence of themselves. This would come with great challenges if we allow them to interact in such way. They offered their assist assistance in creating a balance for us through the accessing of the divine way of being via vibrational frequency. If you have not already felt these energies occurring within your consciousness and physical body, they will be activated this week. So how do we get through it with ease and grace? Well, take advantage of Mercury Retrograde 
and allow the energies to create a higher essence of your intuitive self by activating timelines that are fully trying to come into balance. You will be able to remove and accept the new particles of light as deemed appropriate through your higher self and I am presence. In addition, we will be experiencing a full moon on February 25th, which appears in Virgo, representing a higher vision taking place, while allowing the old essences to be transmuted as the lower physical energies. It is a time to fully allow our wise man and woman to appear in our consciousness, which is a direct relation to the timelines being ignited at this time. Life is changing within the earth, and what is occurring within your societies is representation of this fact. The more information we give to you about what is happening, the more you'll be prepared to be the torches of light, to stand tall, and allow others to see how deeply they can acquire these elements for themselves. As you allow the illusion to be broken within you. The assistance that you are giving to others cannot be measured in any shape or form. The frequency of light from the great central sun is designed to prepare you for your multidimensional reality as more timelines are being ignited every day. It is imperative to continually understand what is happening within you in order to receive more essence. There is so much more to arrive, and this is only our beginning with each other. This activation is occurring presently, and has been since the 17th of this month. It will continue until the 24th of this month in preparation for the full moon activities. This will be your last activation in this month, as the more you allow yourself to remember and release, the more you will be able to increase within yourself. We walk with you in beauty and in joy for the new world to arrive. End of quote. Nothing can truly stop us now for sure. There will be huge amounts of joy for those who are awake and in the flow of the oneness energies and for those in any kind of ego, including the most dangerous, the spiritual ego, will not be able to move forward in this energy until they can release the mask, which is the lie and illusion, a.k.a. ego. Only truth will be allowed to shine on planet Earth equal heart as these energies continue. This is going to be energetically interesting for those in the denser energies or lower vibrations on the planet, which quickly are getting squeezed. Either way, what's happening is the real energy of love, which is manifested in physical form on planet Earth equal heart, trumps all the illusion. With the droves of people on the planet currently awakening, these are the signs of the moments this planet is in. As this occurs, more lights come on and in on the planet. Wow, how exciting. This planet's destiny is peace, truth, real reality, true equality, and true unconditional love. Quoted from James Gilliland. We are well into the energies of the galactic plane, the alignment with Alcyon and Sirius. We are moving through the dark rift, which is filled with space debris. As we have said, expect to see asteroid and meteor explosions, and in some cases, impacts. The Russian asteroid was shattered into smaller pieces by off-worlders. It was much larger than reported and if allowed to impact the Earth, would have created immense damage. There has been a lot of batting practice and diversion by the spiritually and technologically advanced ETs. It is time to acknowledge this and give thanks, along with setting the intention 
and asking for more divine interference. If we continue to do our part in redirecting this civilization towards universal law, ending the aggression, pain, and suffering, holding those accountable, the war and disease profiteers, the international banksters, and those in the unjust system, we will receive even more divine intervention. God helps those who help themselves. It is time to rise to the occasion and stand up for our God-given rights. We are one earth under God, Creator, and Spirit. We all come from the same source, and we return to the same source, despite culture or belief. It is time we begin to operate as one family. The separation, the elitist, the unbridled greed, and lust for power over others' game is coming to a close. This is now being seen in the headlines. Focus on the world you want to live in. Act on it and demand it. End of quote. Signs in the sky quoted from Cobra. All these events, the asteroid and meteor events, are natural cosmic occurrences and are a part of the plan for the planetary liberation that is coming directly from the source. The purpose of all these signs in the sky is to lift the consciousness of the human population beyond the third dimension in order to prepare it for the event and the coming planetary changes. End of quote. February 2013 will go down in the history books as a historic month. It indeed has already made its presence known. Gandhi specifically came in when he did to share the words, Be the change you wish to see. This is happening right now, as the moment has arrived, and millions are awakening across the planet and activating their divine missions and contracts. The real love energy is changing everything. Being love in action will become the normal on this planet, as everyone must move into the one timeline which is the highest outcome for humanity and is the present moment of now. Quoted from Zen Gardner, <clears throat> It's amazing, it's wonderful, and it's so significant. I'm experiencing and observing the most exponential increase in synchronistic events and communication I have ever witnessed. Writers, posters, and internet information sharers are networking at such a consciously connected level, it's just fantastic. I know for myself, I no sooner write or read or post something on a subject, and bam, there's related stories, videos, articles, or personal comments coming into my own, and the general information field like a flood. And it continues to increase. Of course it does. That's how it works. Especially now, as the awakening soars into critical mass, like an event horizon. There's a lot of encouragement to be derived for all of us here. We know we can't trust the media. We have our hearts to guide us. And favorite sources which we have found and turned to. We are each other's amplifiers, and the music is turning up. So get on board. It's wonderful how the information and revelations of truth are exploding. Hey, surf's up. Grab your board and get in. How? Well, follow your heart. Follow the leads. Keep at it. If it's online, you'll notice things that catch your attention. Take time to look at them. One of the best tools to get into the stream of synchronicity is networking, sharing. As we each pump into each other truth and compassion, real knowledge and understanding as best we can, we contribute to this mass awakening and empowerment. 
It's a fabulous dynamic and a thrill to be a part of. It's actually simply living a conscious life, and it will follow naturally. But understanding the mechanics can really help our buns and gear and positively productive during this ridiculous shitstorm smacking humanity right now. As we give, we get. The universe is amazing in this dynamic. We don't give to get. It just happens. But it's good to know it does because we always want to keep learning and growing and gaining in spiritual capabilities. It's also very important to know that as you share and live a conscious life, the universe will take care of you. I know I'm preaching to many of the choir here, as so many of you know this, and are driven like I am, sharing emails, passing on information to researcher, researchers you know, and other disseminators of information. Sharing finds with those who specialize in a certain field can have a tremendous effect. If you find something that strikes you as important in a certain field, say chemtrails or EMF hazards, for example, never assume that a seeming specialist must know this already. You could be the prompter through which the universe is working. Synchronicity is always happening. As Carl Jung said, I'm sorry, Carl Jung said, synchronicity is an ever-present reality for those who have eyes to see. We live in very exciting times. We've been given the tools for this time. We've always had them. Humanity has them built in, but our overlords have done everything they could to hide them from us and deny their existence. It's time. We tapped in and let them have it full throttle. As we do and others join in, the signal amplifies and the awakening accelerates. It's that simple. But we have to take the nudges seriously. Keep moving, keep loving, keep learning, keep transcending. Join the buzz. This synchronicity rush is a blast. End of quote. The events have been exciting for those who are paying attention. By observing these events, you can clearly see how the light is affecting all on the planet in one way or the other. The light is truly flooding this planet, and for those in the oneness energies, will experience increased joy, increased synchronistic events, magical experiences, and real miracles which occur in the present moment of now. Decreed by Heaven we are not kidding. Prepare for huge energetic movement. The next set of energies only those in the light and truth in the present moment of now may enter to begin the co-creation of the real new earth equal heart. This is a divine plan manifesting now on planet earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love, the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team. Mwah.